Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with S-Base Block Storage Calculation Types. Today we're going to be talking about the primary types of calculations. There are really three. The first type is what's called outline consolidation. This is the one that shows up in the S-Base outline. When you drag and drop members around within the outline, you're changing how they consolidate. By default, all of them are going to have plus signs next to them. If you are somebody who wants to be a bit more negative, you can switch all of them to a minus sign then they will subtract up the hierarchy. So as you can see here, we have margin, which has a plus sign next to it, but rolling into it is sales with a plus and cost of goods sold with a minus, meaning margin will equal sale minus cost of goods sold. This covers 99 plus percent of the calculations you would ever want to do in S-Base. But at times, you want to use a more complicated function. We call these member formulas. Now, a member formula can be something that looks like a unary operator, meaning using the plus minus times divide or percent sign, or it can be something using over 100 plus built-in functions in what's called the S-based calc script language. Now, please don't confuse the calc script language from actually writing a calc script. Something that's in the outline or something using a member formula is going to aggregate and calculate whenever you run a default calculation on an S-based block storage database. If, however, you want to overwrite that, meaning you want to do something that's not in the outline or what you see in the outline is not what you want to do every single time, you can put that in what's called an S-based calc script. So in our sample little script here, we're going to clear out all budget data in the database. Now, obviously, you don't want that to happen every single time you run a calculation. Then we want to take budget and set it 10% greater than what actuals are, which is how most people think they're top-level people in their organization, budget. Just find out whatever the numbers are until you didn't quite come close enough. Then the final line of that calc script is calc all, which means take all of the data and aggregate it all the way up the hierarchy. Calc scripts are definitely the most powerful thing you can do, but even not using a calc script, you can still get a lot of powerful calculations just based on what's in the outline. Now, how the database calculates by default changes based on various things you do to the outline. The number one thing that affects it is what dimensions you tag. And any dimension you tag as accounts is going to by default calculate first. Any dimension you tag as time is going to by default calculate second. And any dimensions you tag with attribute are going to calculate dynamically, basically at the time you retrieve them. Next thing that affects calculation order is density and sparsity. So it's going to calculate the dense dimensions normally before it calculates the sparse dimensions. Third thing that affects it is what order the dimensions are in. And then any members you have flagged as two pass if they are stored members. So based on those dimension tags, based on the dense and sparsity, based on the calculation order, when you run a default calculation, the first dimension the database will calculate is the accounts dimension. And it's important to remember that S-based block storage databases will calculate the accounts dimension first, even if it's sparse, which can in some cases, if accounts is sparse, result in multiple passes through the database. So be very, very careful if accounts is sparse or if time is a sparse dimension because you quite often are going to result in multiple passes and extreme elongating of your database calculation time. After that, it's going to do all the dense dimensions in the order that they're in the outline, then all the sparse dimensions in the order they're in the outline. Finally, looping back and any two-pass calculation members that are stored, it's going to go back and calculate. And again, this can result in a second or even a third pass to your database if accounts or time happen to be sparse dimensions. So anytime you run a default calculation, maybe it's kicking off through S-Base Administration Services or Calculation Manager or kicking it off from SmartView or the old S-Base Excel add-in, or anytime you run the command calc all, this is the order that the dimensions will calculate it. The only way to override this is by using the ever-powerful S-Base calc script, which we're going to be covering in a later video.